Hey guys, so right now I'm starting on the prop car that's going to be in here. Just a reminder, there's no motion on this, it's just light and horn. This is going to be one of the frames for it. It's going to have a peak that comes down to here. And then it was going to be five feet wide, but I'm going to do it four feet wide so I can screw into this stud here um, with the other one here. So I'll have to cut that down because it was going to be five feet. But okay, so uh, I'm going to screw that in and then I'll show you some time in the future. Okay, so it actually ended up being close enough to five feet to do it there. So I'm just um, going to go with that. I'll frame in the roof after dinner. I gotta go in now. And then um, the car is gonna be a whole nother project that's gonna be a big pain in the butt. But right now I'm just gonna focus on the outer frame. So, yeah. Okay, so I put this in here because I figured I didn't have anywhere else to put it. And this was one of the few rooms left in the entire, all three mazes that I didn't know what I was gonna use to fill in the space. So I'm gonna use this. Um, should help fill it in. Prop car on this side, there should be a nice distraction up here. Gut wall if nothing else. Um, I'll find something for it. The garage door panels will be covering this and this will be an actor door only to get through. And then um, people will walk through here into unearthed. So um, yeah, it's going to be cool. I really like the look of it with it in here. I've always liked this, this piece though. So. This is what the ceiling crasher was landing on last year. So this was mounted above you last year. And in 2010, it was vertically, so flipped up on its side in the mine. So yeah, all right. All right, so I got um, just a support beam going up here. And I think I'm gonna use these burlap sacks in this scene, just hanging from the ceiling through the path. But um, that's actually gonna do it for tonight, guys. I'm kind of tired and unmotivated to do anything else really so that's gonna be it for today I'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys so what I shot earlier in this vlog what you've seen up to this point was shot like a week or two ago um, I just haven't gotten around to editing it because I just got it off the camera like yesterday or something so um, sorry about that but so this vlogs gonna be like two weeks late for the stuff you already saw um, I just wanted to say today is Friday um, Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be working to get money for the haunt. Um, Monday, which is Labor Day, uh, I'm going to be setting up the first half of Unearthed with my buddy Court. He's coming over to help me out, so that should be fun. Um, the first half of it is only two scenes, but they're pretty big scenes. Um, the second half of Unearthed is like five or six scenes, but they're a lot smaller. So um, these two big scenes should be really fun, lots of uh, fun props. The first one is like a furnace room with some shelves. Um, the second one is where the serial killer has made his makeshift bedroom in the cellar. So that should be fun. That's what's happening Monday. That vlog will be up like a few days later. It always takes me quite a bit of time. My vlog time continuum is really screwed up compared to like daily haunt vloggers who get them up every night. And I admire you guys. So it's really hard to upload every day when I do it, but I always get around to it. So yeah, so that's what you have to look forward this weekend and I'll see you then.